What is going on guys? Welcome back to the guide. This is Big Oats here. Uh, sorry it's been a couple of days. Uh, things have been getting kind of crazy and all that. So, and I know it's probably to you guys it's going to be like, like right afterwards. So it's not going to be much of a time lapse. But trust me when I say it's been a couple of days. Um, we are going to go ahead and continue. Uh, we will be going through Fair and Keep next. Um... And I suspect we'll be able to do the Abyss Watchers. I might have to do that as video in itself. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I need to do. Uh, oh yeah, if you do have it, if you check in your inventory and go to keys or go into key items and you see these, you can give these to uh, to Blind Chick and just come down over here. Cornex is right there. If you haven't already, talk to him. And again, if you've ta already talked to him once, if you come back, he will uh, he will give you the welcoming uh, emote. And then you come to talk to Chicky. And give her a tome. And you can give her both of them. Uh, Braille. However, if you're really not really worried about miracles, you don't have to worry about them. Uh, interesting fact, though, if you buy all uh, good miracles, she actually does become a firekeeper in the other fire link, which will be shown later in the episodes. Um, the reason also it took me so long to get to the next uh, set was because... I'm not even going to lie, the... Uh, the going through the process of doing these videos drained me hard so um yeah i just didn't feel like getting back into it uh so that's nobody else's fault but my own because i pushed myself to limits i shouldn't have but i don't think i've talked to yuria yet so i need to but yeah talk to yuria to make sure that she's very uh so that quest line can continue. Because if you haven't talked to her, she, I think that quest line will come to a halt up until um, Pontiff, and then she will uh, not tell you the information unless you talk to her. Because um, you need to talk to her at a certain point, and then she'll tell you that Henri is ready to be wedded. We're going to go ahead and go straight through... Um, we're going to go ahead and go straight through the Fair and Keep. Um, let's see if there's anything I gotta do. Um, I, ha I don't think I've... No. Have I continued C words? Let me check. Uh, not, not that way. Uh, yeah, okay. So, I have continued. It's been a couple days, so I gotta remember what this character's done. So, uh, continuing on, if you want patches as a m merchant, you have to kind of do the tower now because, uh, well, in, 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 in a, at least a good bit, uh, come over here, talk to Henri. She'll just inform you that basically which information you already knew. Aldrich is not down in the deep. He was, uh, not with the deacons, so he's, he must be in his uh, home in on Orlando. So we're going to go ahead and travel to uh Farron Keep I'm going to actually kind of refrain from talking about the loading times cuz I did notice in all of my videos I was talking about it way too much Pardon the the background noise by the way it's just hardwood floors I don't have an office so I have no way of like canceling out that noise because my dogs want to always move around and my puppies are good puppies uh, anyway so welcome to fair and keep this place is the absolute epitome of um, terrible it poisons you every every time you step in the water um, you need to extinguish three fires Go ahead and come over here and grab your purple palm moss. Come over here and grab your iron skin if you want it. Otherwise, I don't. you don't really need it. The deeper you get into it, the quicker the poison affects you. 
but Poison's not nearly as bad as it used to be. In Dark Souls 1, Poison was terrible. You got poisoned, you practically had a death sentence because you could get it very early on because there was like a little rat that uh, that could give it to you. Um, and you didn't know what uh, Purple Moss was. So therefore, you just pretty much were doomed. So your only goal was to get to a bonfire. Well, go ahead and come this direction. Come over here. Now, putting out the fires, you would think, oh, well, that means I have to go kill, like, a fire monster, right? Well, actually, no. It's actually fairly simple once you figure it out. Oh, hey, what did this guy drop? Poison gem. Irony in that. <laughs> anyway, going ahead and moving on over here. You come on up to these stairs. Do watch out, though. There are these guys. I don't remember what they're called. I think they're Corvians, I think. Fairly easy to kill if you're running a strength build. Spear guys aren't really fun to deal with. Go ahead and backstab them, kill them, uh, any way you see fit. They do drop Tyanite shards quite often. I'm not going to show every item location because doing so would take forever. And you come up to the basin and then just put it out. Alrighty then, and welcome back. Sorry, that's it does the same one for like all three of them. So if you really don't want to mess with it, you can just press the start button and it ends it. Go ahead and kill this guy because he likes to ambush you. This place is all about poisoning you and poisoning others. Um, if you feel your health is getting low, do not be afraid to take some Eustace because it will uh, it will mess you up. You, as I said, this place is determined to poison anything, so it even gives you rotten pine resin, which uh, poisons enemies. Come down here, and here's the pain of, of the bunch. These guys are not fun to deal with, but they will, they, you can deal with them. They do that jumping attack all of the time. Oh, hey, and I fell for that. I hate it when... Yeah, and if you don't watch that, he can do it back to back. Um, I am probably going to grab, like, one item that I think is this direction. Um, I might be mistaken. It might be the other direction. It's been... I need to honestly just, like, look through uh, Farron... Fair and keep and like legitimately remember But if you want to bypass a fighting ah, yeah, it is this one if you want to bypass a fighting the wraith just come on over here And just walk Because there's a, a wraith right on the opposite side a dark wraith to be exact pain in the butt best way to honestly deal with it is just have a fast attack and be prepared to block a lot because the dude does not know the meaning. There he is, right there. He is legitimately a pain in the butt. Um, you can burst him if you want to. Uh, I highly suggest not. You can come in here, grab the sage coal, and then run away. It actually helps in Andre infuse more weapons into turning them into cooler things. More in just in case you feel like it because. I don't really infuse weapons that much. I sometimes turn them into heavier weapons, and sometimes I don't. 
Come on over here, grab a uh, Tainite Shard? Yeah, Tainite Shard. This place is absolutely loaded with Tainite Shards, so if you feel like you're running low, um, at this point on, Tainite Shards are not going to be an issue. Now, I do remember that there is three pains in the butts. If you look right over there, there right off to the left side, you see three of those girls. They're, they're actually surrounding the Black Ferris bow, which, not a great bow, not a terrible bow. But, if you want to deal with them, that's all you. I don't care for it. Oh, really? I know I said I wasn't going to show everything, and I'm over here pretty much showing everything. Uh, I did die to Longfinger because I don't think I have his cane, so he can spawn here again. But, you know, go ahead and put out the second fire. Basically, just continue down the pathways. It, it's pretty much very well lit up to show you how to uh, get here. But come down here. This is kind of like the bridge of pain. Can be. Come over here, lure one. Try to only lure one, though, because one shield guy is a pain. I don't have to avoid the breath. It just poisons you again. But if you're already poisoned, there's really no point. Always wait. As I said, you're already poisoned. It has no effect on you. Shaman uses poison. It is very ineffective. Go ahead and kill them. Rotten pine resin. They notoriously drop it all the time. Uh, oh, there, there's the other scroll. I forgot about that. There's actually two scrolls in here. Uh, and something just randomly died. Neat. Alright. Now, go ahead and just rest if you want to. Um, we're going to go ahead and open up the shortcut. Because there's actually a not really optional boss. Not really technically an optional boss. He drops a boss soul. Yes. But he is not a boss in himself. But first, we're going to go ahead and... You got a crabbo over that direction. And then you got a uh, scroll over there. So if you are using Oberek's quest line, if you go over that direction, you can get a scroll. You need to get that scroll over that direction. It's right over there. Uh, do I have it? Oh, hell. I did not know I did. Right there. I might actually just keep those on just so I can point out things because it makes it so much easier because I don't have a face cam. Um, you just come down over here. I might only upload three episodes, try lightening up my workload. Not to mention there's, besides this one, there's really not much more to do. Like, yeah, I could fit a lot in this one. This one is just a battle of like health of an endurance. Because there's all kinds of uh, snail boys in here. But the reward is actually very delicious, per se. The Undead Bone Shard. Ooh. Already getting more powerful. And if you continue down that way, you got more of them. About two of them, actually. Um, we're not going to worry about that just yet. Go ahead and kill Slug Boy. If you want to. It honestly, it doesn't matter. Come over here. I'm only doing it, as I said, only doing a straight shot. I'm, I'm only showing you how to get to the three fires. If you want me to do the entire forest and show you all that's in it, um, there's Wolf. Uh, then leave in the comments. Otherwise, uh, it's just going to take a lot of exploring on your half. See, we got one patrolling there. They're not hard to deal with per se. It's just they hit like a they hit like a uh, they hit like a truck, and 
they also do like the little a little ranged attack with their actual hits so they are kind of one of the more annoying enemies to deal with the only time you face them though is here but that's it is here and after that it's just like they're gone um go ahead and climb up this giant uh, giant ladder oh that was lovely and then just come on in up here and this is the old wolf of Farron. if you want to you can join to join their cult or yeah cult they give you like a another as to join covenant it doesn't affect you if you join their covenant or not so do take that in mind the, the, it's it's not needed you don't need to but going ahead and let's go ahead and wind up here because I always get this guy because it's not that big of a difference come on up over here and you got a tinite lizard go ahead and kill him he will try to run either direction as I said use the opposite direction in there in your favor oh I accidentally hit it uh, if you if you swing here right about here there will be a, a way that opens up and might I might have to do with like a slow-mo replay if I'm gonna even worry about that if not then just try to see it on the video but it's like as you're coming up to the stairs and just the first one off the left and you get dream chasers asters now I will go ahead and show you this let's go ahead and heal myself I'm gonna go ahead and show you this. Well, I might just go ahead and tackle him myself after I get a, like a little bit of levels, but well, actually, I'll just tackle him now. Honestly, he ain't that really that tough. But he drops a boss soul. He come up this. Uh, he come up the elevator, and now you got a good look at Lothric, which is right there. Uh, wander up the stairs, and if you look left, you have a big old demon. That's Stray. Stray Demon has uh, is not technically a boss, but he does drop a boss soul. You will instantly get it when you get it. But we're going to go right. Now you come right and you come to this rubble of rock. Come over here and just drop. Wow, I almost messed that up. I think I would have just taken a lot of fall damage, but you will take some fall damage. That's normal. Uh, come down over here now get ready to rush because there is two crystal lizards one two just try to rush them make sure that they can't escape now that one's dead get large tinites come over here and go ahead and get the lightning spear one of one of the good ones to get and you go ahead and get the dragon crest shield good against the fire now this one you can kind of get if you want to i kind of worry about it good just because tinite lizards are not exactly a terrible thing i usually do running attacks though uh, once they awaken, uh, you don't really have to worry about it anymore because uh, they're slow. Um, do be careful because this can kill you. I cannot stress that enough. If you do fall all the way down, it can insta-kill you. I don't know why it's very ornery like that, but just make your way down and try your best not to kill yourself. If you die, don't harden yourself. Just come back up here, run back up there, and just try your best. Um, that can insta kill you. No problems whatsoever. Um, am I going to leave Stray or am I going to just do him later? Actually, I want to do Stray. He's not hard. He's very big and lumptuous. And not to mention his items are pretty decent. Be careful of that. He will... Oh, oh, yep. And whenever you do enough damage to his legs, he... But... 
he can be insta repost, and somehow my character just teleported straight to doing the repost. Soul of a stray demon. Now his soul is very important if you are running a very hefty build, and if you don't have it, you can get the great axe here. You can get, I think, two embers. I think that's what's here. Yeah, two embers and a great axe. Good damage all overall. It has a D ranking at starting, but it gets way up there in levels. It will actually legitimately be one of the best weapons in the game. Um, one of the. I don't say it is the best weapon in the game because to each their own. Um, go ahead and wander on down. I'll go ahead and show you what Stray kind of gives you. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that now because when it comes to the next section... Uh, the uh, they can be a pain in the butts. I'm actually doing good on time, so I might have enough time to travel to Firelink. I might actually, yeah, you know what? Yes, I'm gonna I'm going to save uh, Wolf for the next episode because I'm not gonna stress that because I might actually just be at time so because this area is still pretty large and not to mention I still gotta get the last fire and then make my way to it yeah that'd just be best uh with the demon soul in hand with strays <laughs> with stray demons soul in hand come on up here and then you get access to one of the good one of the best rings in the game one of the best rings Havel's ring Havel's ring is Havel's equipment is mostly going to be up there. You can also get this boulder heave. It's not that bad, not that great. You don't really want to worry about that. Just go ahead and pick up Havel's ring. I always do. And now it shoots up your equipment load by a good margin. 55 up to 63.2. Oh, sorry about that. That was, uh, I was, I had an itch on my face. And now I can wield even more equipment. I can't wield that yet. <laughs> um, I need to go talk to Littlefinger because I just realized if you want to participate in this, you can. Uh, he gives you five cracked red eye orbs. If you go to a random modifier, it doesn't matter which. I'm going to go back to Fair and Keep. I'm going to show you this one because it's a very fast little quest that you can do. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Uh, say, uh, just go to Keep Ruins because I got to go back there anyway to continue the quest line. Or continue what I need to do in that area. His is very quick. If you're already at the point, at this point, um, then his quest line will be very quick. But this is going to be the only time you'll actually legit have to fight a wraith. The, I just showed you how to get past a wraith. You'll actually have to legit fight one. Then just go ahead and travel back to Firelink. The reason is, is because time fa fast forwards like astronomical amounts or something along those lines. Time's not, not barely existent to you. To you, moments only pass. To them, I think, he, like, <laughs> days, if not weeks, pass. Or something along those lines. I don't know entirely, but come on back up here. Talk to him. Oh. Uh, I guess he hasn't fully... I guess I haven't stressed out his dialogue enough. Let's try again. He should give it right now, but if not, then he might need to wait after a boss. I'll confirm that now. Um, as I said, possibly going to do a re-upload of the episode with my wizard class, because I am running a wizard, but this is kind of my walkthrough character, but... Oh yeah, I did accidentally travel back. Oh, didn't realize that. Anyway, my bad. I wonder if it worked. Oh yeah, here it goes. And then he gives you the lift chamber. 
But don't kill him just yet, because I'm going to. I can guarantee that, because his the little helmet thing is, act, is actually what he drops. Travel to tower on the wall. Yeah, I'll have just enough time. My neck is stiff. <laughs> I just slept wrong. I always sleep wrong when it comes to beds. Okay. Go ahead and make your way down. What you want to do is get down to Halbeard Boy. Which, I'm not really worried about him. I just prefer not dealing with him too. Done. Everything's like infinitesimally fucking... Uh, he didn't wake up. I must have came down here so quick. Stupid alerts. Anyway. And get whatever they drop. Sometimes they will drop shit, and sometimes they won't. Uh, come down here. All right, Halbeard almost tried to kill me. Then he's dead. Anyway, come on over here. Use the lift chamber key. Come down here, and go ahead and wander your way down. As I said, the only time you'll have to fight one, I mean, you're probably going to have to fight two others, depending on if they derp out or not. If you're good and sneaky, you could pull. Dang, I couldn't. That you gotta watch out for. Oh, it is purple. I didn't notice that. I always thought it was white. Hello, oh, Gunner, an apology. If you can, getting them into a backstab ultimately helps you, but ultimately it's a pain. They give you the cracker red eye orb, and he gives a good amount of souls, almost like an NPC amount of souls. Well,. If you want to, go ahead and make your way back to the bonfire. If you don't really care to, use a, use it and go back to the shrine. Talk to him and he should give you the, he should give you the, uh, give you an emote. Once you get the emote, go ahead and kill him. Like, he's absolutely useless for anything else. Not to mention, basically, what what you get is basically the red eye orb, which just basically means you have unlimited uses. In this, you have like only one use per. But that's the uh, if you don't care for invading, you can just sell the cracked. Come up here. He's broken right now. He's not wanting to... Let me try just resting at the bonfire. Because apparently I wasn't supposed to do it that quick. Because I think my other characters haven't. But he's not... Uh, he's not continuing on with the dialogue that he needs to. God, that means I have to leave and then come back. Alright. I hate it when they mess up. Uh, no, we'll go back to uh, Keep Ruins. I need to hurry up and wrap this episode up. Well, I mean, I still got a little bit of time, but I need to consider it. Probably do like four episodes, honestly. Probably just do four, just to go ahead and continue the series, because that should put us in... Smoldering runes? Give or take. Now let's try going back and seeing if he's fixed. If he's not fixed, then I'm just going to kill him. Because honestly, even so, uh, getting all of the 
getting all of the um, emotes actually does require you to completely destroy the chance of getting one uh, optional quest line that you get from well the chick that usually sits here Cirrus this of sunless realms she's a uh, she's a really good character to have because she becomes your companion and helps you beat a couple of other bosses oh there you go once you get applause kill him He's actually not that hard to kill, and honestly, then that's when his AI starts derping out. And he's out of use to his charges. He's trying to use magic to kill me. Ooh. Okay, I need. And you get a silver mask. Sorry that it took so long, but he kind of got himself stuck in a corner. Which I actually like to wield because it's lighter than anything else. And it looks actually not that terrible. It actually kind of goes with a lot of outfits. Fashion souls. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and wrap up, wrap up this. Uh... Yeah, that took a little bit longer than it needed to. Go over to Fair and keep him. And I, I'm going to probably be rocking the mask a lot. Because this is actually my natural... Uh, look on Dark Souls. I end up always coming back to this look. Fallen Keep you outfit as well as the silver mask. It's actually not a bad outfit. He only goes with a select few outfits anyway. Uh, don't worry about them. Uh, go ahead and make your way over this way. Now we're going to go ahead and unlock the last one, which is arguably the hardest one I need to go get oh uh, I need in my wizard class I need to go get my Oberx so uh. all right so basically go ahead and keep going down this way I don't know why I was going the other way but whatever go ahead and head on down just ignore them if you want to uh, okay he partially derped out Okay, he's still derping out because he's going the wrong, complete wrong direction. I honestly should have uh, spent my souls on a couple levels. Oh well. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? But I'm honestly going to go ahead and take this on this guy. He's they're, they're a pain, but they're not hard to kill. Okay, make that they are pretty challenging. Dark Souls luck for you. Yeah, see they hit like a truck. They can do a variety of attacks. Um, there's another one just chilling behind a tree over there. I may not have enough to deal with it. Um, whatever you do, don't get the Nameless Knight set. It's over there. Um, because if you haven't defeated a Yellowfinger, he can still spawn. 
may not have enough. I may just have to... But unfortunately, you need to kill this one because the other one is, in fact, guarding the stairs. And if it does see you... Okay, that one wasn't nearly as bad. They can actually draw, drop the entire stone parma set. It's just bursting them as a pain. Alright. Let's go ahead and wander our way up to the fire. But yeah, no, that's going to be the most difficult part. It might actually kill a couple players. Um, come up here. Douse out the fire. And it's the same cut scene, scene twice over. If you want them, there's homeward bones back here. I don't think it, yeah, two homeward bones. Okay, no, it's actually when you get past that. Don't go past that because that's when yellow finger. Um, you want to go go right ahead. There's uh, there's also another pain in the butt back there. Uh, bonfire last rest of that. Because I'm just teaching you how to get to the location. As far as exploration, all I'm going to say is that there are uh, basilisks back there. And if you don't know what a basilisk is, um, look it up. Basilisk. Uh, B-A-S-K-E-L-S-I-K? -E uh, something like that. Um, but but yeah, no. Basilisk. And, um, and just look up Dark Souls Basilisk. And just see how much of a pain in the butt they would be to Dark Souls players. Now the door is open. Go ahead and just wander on through the door. Now for the sake of time, I'm not really going to worry about it. I will show you the item, but I'm just gonna go zoom past. You go up the path and take out the storyteller and then all of the Corv and the Corvians will stay neutral. You just have to make sure you kill them. I'm gonna zoom past on the sake of time. Interesting fact, if you stay on the far right, they don't actually aggro. And do not engage both of them. Both of them together will kill you very quick. Kind of let them do their thing. Because they're trying to invade, uh, they're trying to invade the boss fight, but they can't. And they're stuck in this endless loop. Go ahead and walk your way over to the right side, and you'll see this little doorway. Um, yeah, I can show you this this real quick. Go ahead and light the bonfire. Rest at it if you need to. I don't because I got plenty. All of my uh, all of my charges still left in my Eustace flask. All right, and come on over here. Interesting little fact, by the way, if you hear that thud, that is actually the sound of you hitting a critical hit. It's mostly whenever you encounter hit them for a lot. I am definitely going to need a lot more strength. You come down here, and yes, you have another Titanite Beast. I think this is the third to last. Do be careful. But, interesting little fact about this place is that if you look beyond this gate, which you can open now, doesn't he look kind of familiar? I haven't gotten the items over there. Let him kind of aggro, because he will aggro every time you go through that door. There we go. Stupid. If you want to kill him, go right ahead. I'm not going to really worry about him for the sake of time. Um, another little interesting fact is if you run right over here, it's not going to aggro the Dark Knight. He looks over there, but he doesn't actually fucking care. Pardon my language. Uh, come up here, grab your cell sword. 
Um, I got another valid question that I would like someone to put in the comments. Um, could I, in fact, label this as suitable for kids or not suitable for kids? Like, that's actually a question that's been bugging me. I've been mostly putting my, all of my videos as not suitable for kids because it's Dark Souls and exact, and I don't expect kids to exactly be good. Go ahead and use a homeward bow once you get the Farron Coal. And go ahead and go to the Shine Bonfire because that's where, where we're going to wrap up this video. Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and spend all of my souls on levels. Yes, yeah, so we went ahead and did the top. So that means I have patches. Yeah, I do. I forgot what I did. Go ahead and put it one there. You know what? How many can I get? Oh, wow. I'm a good chunk away from being able. Yeah, we'll just get more strength. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave that video here. Uh, if you liked it, please give that video a like and, and subscribe. Uh, if you have any other questions, then please put in the comments. Or, in fact, go ahead and follow my page and leave me a message, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, but, yeah, that's my only question that I, I actually truly need an answer. And, holy crap, I actually have uh, 6,006. Huh, interesting. Anyway, uh, completely off subject. Um, it, it, would my series be, in fact, suitable for kids or not suitable for for kids i would say no just for the simple fact is is if you knew how dark uh dark souls is you would not want your kids to know uh but that's just me as far as like but that's on a lore standpoint as far as like actually um i would kind of want anybody to tell me um besides that i hope you all have a good uh, good evening and a good day and i will see you in the next video deuces Thank you.